to the garden. Here you go, Mr. Longface. Pomegranate tea and apple slices. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. You're very welcome. And thank you for watching the cafe for me. My pleasure. And how is your garden growing? Oh, I'm hoping my flowers will be at their best in time for the flower festival. Come on, Pupcake. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. The Flower Festival. The event of the year. Oh, hi, Johnny. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Hi, everyone. Hi, Berry Can Bloom. Well, your roses look very lovely this year. <laughs> As usual. You just might win again, as usual. Thank you, Lemon Meringue, Strawberry Shortcake. Here, Strawberry, your flowers might want some water before the day gets any hotter. Why, thank you. Those are beautiful, Lemon. I think that this year your flowers are going to be the ones to beat. Oh, no. You can't mean my violets stand a chance against your award-winning roses. Oh, I'm telling no lies. You could win the first prize. You're so kind to say so. <sighs> first prize. <laughs> and now, to the individual who has toiled from sunrise to sunset, growing the most perfect flowers, I award first prize to... Lemon Meringue! Oh, wow! It's getting late. Are you coming in? We were worried about you. You've been out here for hours. I'll be right there. Soon as I tuck them in for the night. Good night. See you in the morning. <laughs> Weird. We're so sorry, Lemon. My poor Violets. What could have happened? It's certainly a mystery. We'll find out how it happened. But who would do such a thing? Who? You think someone took your Violets? A flower thief. <laughs> oh, good morning, Miss Meringue. You're here early today. So are you. Good morning, Mr. Green. How are you? <laughs> hmm. Lemon? Oh, my. Oh, me. Is that sadness I see? I... Uh, uh... Lemon's had a misfortune, Mr. Bloom. One of her violets went missing. Oh, no. But... but how? We don't know. Oh, that's so sad for you. Now I feel bad, too. I'm sure you do. Come on, Lemon. I'll make you a pancake breakfast and wake me up fruit juice surprise at the cafe. <laughs> Lemon, you don't really think that nice Mr. Bloom would do a thing like that, do you? Of course not, but, uh, well... Didn't you see? See what? His guardian is right next to mine. That's true. Well? It's also true that we've known Barrican Bloom a long time. Lemon, you've got to be careful of accusing people. You could really hurt someone's feelings. Uh, I'd never want that to happen. <sighs> You're right, Strawberry. Barrican Bloom would never do a thing like that. <gasps> what is it, Miss Meringue? M m m more of my violets are missing! Stolen! Oh, goodness me, I didn't see. I was here the whole time, but I... I witnessed no crime. Well, we're actually not really sure there's been a crime. If Barrican Bloom didn't see anything, there must be another explanation. <laughs> I 
can kind of see Lemon's point, though, Strawberry. No one else was around all day except Barry Kim Bloom. And he told me I'm his biggest competition. Maybe he's only complimenting you. He is nice that way. Why do you think he would steal your violets anyway? Because his roses win the flower show every year, and he wants to make sure he wins this year, too. <laughs> oh, you? You come back here, you little troublemaker. <laughs> 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 oh, Lemon, I'm so sorry about your violets. I know how much you care about them and how awful it feels to lose something so special. Thanks, Strawberry. But it would feel pretty bad if someone accused you of stealing when you didn't. I know, but why is he there all the time when no one else is? Maybe... He's there all the time working on his roses because he cares about them so much. Just like you care about your violets. <sighs> That's true. Just don't make up your mind about what happened until we can figure it out for sure, okay? Okay, Strawberry. I'll try. And in the meantime, hope that whatever happened to your flowers doesn't happen again. <laughs> Mine are gone! Mine are gone, too! <gasps> How could it? Who did this? Just like lemons! Everyone has flowers missing! Not everyone. Barricade Bloom, did you lose any? Thank goodness all my roses are here. I'm so sorry for your flowers, my dear. Who else could it be? It's gotta be him. Oh, <gasps> It's like Lemon said. This is serious, Strawberry. Very serious. Whoa. <laughs> my garden is like yours. It's just as I feared. My very best roses. They... <laughs> they disappeared. <laughs> oh. Oh, Barricane Bloom. I'm so, so, so sorry. You don't know how sorry. What will we do? Flower Festival is two days away. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Princess. Okay, girls. What did everyone find? Well, with all the flowers missing, whoever carried them off... If someone carried them off. Okay. If someone carried them off, they are either really big or there is a lot of them. But we didn't find any tracks. Yeah. No tracks except ours. No, that's spooky. Uh, maybe the thief flew in. Could be. At this point, anything's possible. Where were you on the night when this terrible tragedy occurred? Asleep? <laughs> Me too. Oh, asleep, huh? That seems mighty suspicious. Uh, Lemon? They always sleep at night. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, yeah. Violet petal salad, huh? Why, hello there, Miss Meringue. Uh, yes, my favorite. My precious violets. Lunch! Mr. Longface, how could you? Oh, oh but they're not your violets. <laughs> I weeded and watered and worked for weeks growing my... They're not? Oh, no. I grew them myself. I'm afraid they're not fine enough to enter into the festival, uh, but good enough to eat. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Longface. Strawberry, it's just... I can't get over this bad 
feeling I had from hurting Mr. Longface's feelings. And after you warned me, too. I know. Sometimes it's hard not to jump to conclusions. I won't do it again. I want to get all the facts. That's what we're going to get. Yep. Ready for Catch a Thief Camp Out. This is going to be so scary. I can't wait. to mention too nice. So let's, you know, check the pictures. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> There's a great one. <laughs> Ew, look at me. You, <laughs> look at me. Hey, Lemon, this shot of your violets came out great. Nice one, Strawberry. Thanks. Hey, everybody, come here. Look at this. What? What is that? I don't know. But whatever it was, from the angle of the photo, it was right over there. Come on, Lemon. You want to check it out, don't you? Uh, uh-huh. Sure. Oh, shh. Very quiet. Walk very quiet. Shh. Careful. <gasps> Do you see it? Yeah. There it is. Oh, oh, maybe we better run! Now, don't be scared. There's one of it. Six of us. Yeah, but f f five of us are frozen in fear. I told Princess Berry, can we get to the bottom of this? And... We're gonna do it, right now! <gasps> huh? Just shadows. I should have guessed. Like when we think we see animals in the clouds. So, um, now what do we do? I know what I'm gonna do. You're coming home with me where you'll be safe. another flower heist. Next year, let's have a ceramics festival instead. Guys, I'm telling you, it's like something was under the ground. Things were going up and going down and sideways and forwards and shaking. It was like the end of the world. The end of the world? Not the end of the world. Close to the end of the world? No. The day before the end of the world, when it's getting into the part where all life as we know it ceases to hum. Huh? Everyone, please! It is something <gasps> under the ground. <gasps> it's over there! That's where the garden is! Come on! Look! More bear can bloom's roses are missing! Oh, he'll be so upset! I calculated that three of mine are gone. Two left here. Good thing I moved my best violet inside. There's only four violet plants left out here. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking the missing flowers and the ground shaking have something to do with each other. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Did you see that? Uh, how could... How, how did... Look! I'm coming to the conclusion. 
illusion that the flowers are not being picked up. Yeah, they're being pulled down! <gasps> Grab it! Look! Wow! Uh, girls, I just wanted to say I'm sorry I got us into this, and uh, maybe we don't need to know what's taking the flowers and uh, ending the world after all. <laughs> don't you want to figure this out? Come on, we're all here with you. Yeah. What could happen when you have your friends with you? Uh, how about a lot? <laughs> Lemon, it's about time we shine some light on this mystery. Okay, Strawberry, if you say so. <laughs> Just my luck, it's a gopher. Wait, it's cute and all, but what will we tell Princess Barrican? With this critter around, we won't have any more flower festivals. Or flowers, for that matter. I think I have an idea. <laughs> Lemon, you're the best. But I feel bad that you don't have any flowers to enter in the festival. <sighs> so do I. Can I help you with that, Mr. Blue? Hello, Lemon. Uh, thank you. Mr. Bloom, I wanted to say I'm sorry about... Well, you see, I thought maybe you took my violets because you wanted to win. Oh, Lemon. In my heart. Oh, I knew you'd never do something like that, but somehow I let myself think it before I found out the truth. Will you forgive me? Of course, Lemon. You know, I do want to win. But what fun would it be if I was the only one in the contest? I heard how you gave up the flowers you loved best. By doing that, you saved mine and all of the rest. Thanks. And good luck. I hope you win. Thank you, Lemon. And second prize goes to... Barrican Bloom for his lovely roses. Second prize? He didn't win first prize? I can't believe it. I think his roses are the nicest. And now, the first prize for the most beautiful flowers in Berry Bitty City 
The first prize goes to Lemon Moran. Yeah! Congratulations, Lemon! Congratulations, Lemon. Your violets really were first prize. But I didn't even enter a flower. Strawberry entered it for you. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry! You're very welcome, Lemon. But it was Barry Can Bloom's idea. You just warm up some apple cider with a little orange rind. Mmm, orange. My favorite. A tiny smidgen of lemon juice. Mmm, <laughs> my favorite. A bit of cinnamon and my secret ingredient. What's that? Warm wishes. I imagine my friends enjoying it and somehow it just comes out better. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, uh, maybe if we drink enough, it will really feel like winter. Well, it's certainly cold enough, but some snow would be nice. I want snow so badly, I sometimes think I can hear it coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing! Yeah! Yeah! And best of all, the Glimmerberry Ball. Oh, I can't wait to start decorating for it. The food table will go here, and the streamers across there, and we'll put chairs along that wall. Plum, I'm starting to think we won't be able to hold the Glimmerberry Ball in the cafe this year. Why not? Hot cider coming right up. Excuse me, coming through. Because Berry Bitty City isn't so bitty anymore. That's right. The town has grown since last winter. There just won't be room. If not here, then where? I've got it. We'll split up and hunt for a bigger place. We'll all look hither and yon. Hither and yon? Here and there. Ah, great. An adventure in the snow. Oh, good idea. Fun. for the ball? No. Oh, me neither. Oh, uh, well, I found a nice flat tree stump. There's lots of room, but no shelter from the cold. Oh, we might freeze or catch colds or even just uh, shiver a lot. Well, we're definitely not giving up. After you get warm, we'll go looking again. I'll come with you. You guys, I found the perfect place. Come on. So, what do you think? It's perfect for the ball, right? Uh, I don't know, Plum. If someone fell off those branches, they'd hurt themselves. And where would we put the tables? <laughs> no, no. Down here. Oh. Warm, spacious, and inviting. I call it perfect. Congratulations, Plum. Good for you. Good job. I did it. Yay for Plum. I knew you would. Plum, since you did such a wonderful job of finding the perfect spot, would you mind being in charge of the party preparations? 
Oh, I'd love to. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll bring the dishes, cups, napkins, and tablecloths. Uh, Strawberry, can you take care of the party snacks? <laughs> of course. Okay, raspberry and orange. Would you help decorate? Fun. <laughs> Ooh, yay. What do you think of crepe paper streamers draped tastefully across the ceiling? Draped crepe? You got it. Blueberry, lemon. Can you please round up as many glow bugs as you can to light the hall? Of course. We're on it. Raspberry and I will get started, too. And I definitely better get started if we want to put this all together in two days. Thank you, everybody. <sighs> I'm going to make this the best Glimmerberry Ball Berry Bitty City has ever had. Which means I have time tomorrow to sew up some fancy tablecloths. Mm -hmm. And I have time to pick out some great music. <laughs> <laughs> the ball is going to be so much fun. True, but there's still plenty of work to do tomorrow. Let's get some rest, and I'll see you here bright and early. <gasps> what in the world happened? The snacks are all gone. And the glow bugs flew away. Oh, and our streamers and tablecloths are all torn up. If this is a prank, it's not funny. Who could have done such a thing? I don't know, but this is really cozy. Ah, I could take a nap in here. This is no time for a nap. We have to start over. All that work we did. It'll be okay, Plum. We still have a whole day to put everything back in order. Sure. And I'll go round up some more glow bugs. What I want to know is who would do something so... so... mean. Well, nobody in Berry Bitty City. Exactly. So it must be an outsider. And I'm going to find out who. And they will answer to the wrath of Plum. Cupcake? Oh, no, you don't like cranberries. Cupcake? Oh, watch out! Oh, how can I make cranberry cookies with you in the way? I told you I have a bunch of baking to do. Oh, come on, you silly puppy. We'll have playtime another time. Huh? Strawberry's Cafe, hoping you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, hi, Plum. What? Uh-huh. You're all going to stay in the tree tonight? It's the only way to make sure nobody messes up the party stuff again. It sounds like a fun sleepover. Maybe I can join you later. I just have to make one more batch of snacks. Oh, hold on. Pupcake, go fetch. Bring me that oven mitt, okay, boy? It's the cranberry cookies, Blueberry's winter favorite. Oh, it makes me so happy imagining how much she'll enjoy them. Pupcake! Pupcake, no! I'm not going to be able to join you after all. Why? Let's just say it was something out of my control. Good luck and have fun. See you in the morning. Bye. Goodness, what's gotten into you, silly puppy? What? your ball. No wonder. You thought I was going to cook your favorite ball. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't understand. Come on, let's look for your ball. Ah! Ah there you are. Now maybe you'll let 
me finish my cranberry cookies. Oh, and everything else. Do you think we'll catch whoever it is? Oh, they'll be back all right. And I'm ready for them. Hey! That's really bright, you know. Oh, sorry. I just want to be ready when the intruders show up. Plum? They won't come in here if it's too bright. Oh, right. How much longer do you think we'll have to wait? This floor is really hard. Yeah, not exactly a feather bed. Hey, I know. How about we bring that big pile of shredded crepe paper back in here? Oh, it was a really cozy bed. Good idea. Uh, I don't know, girls. We're trying to keep the place nice and neat. Don't worry, Plum. We'll just sweep it out again in the morning. This is cozy. Ah, really comfortable. But we have to stay alert. No problem. Oh, no. We'll stay alert for you. Honestly, Plum, I don't think these troublemakers are coming back. <gasps> what was that? The wind? A falling acorn? Uh, a really big snowflake? <gasps> Ready? One, two, three! Uh, it's just a couple of cute chipmunks. Cute on the outside, but meddling on the inside. I will not allow these intruders to ruin our ball. Hey, get out of here! <laughs> That's right, you better scram. This is our place. Yay, we did it. <sighs> now can we go home? Yes, but first a little precaution. There. That ought to keep those pranksters out. Now we can trade that trash pile for some real beds. Tomorrow is a big day. The Glitterberry Ball! Oh, I'm so super excited to see everyone in their beautiful new ball gowns. They are splendid spectacular. And I've got all new steps planned out for the dance. And let's hear it for the terrific food we're going to eat tonight! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And let's hear it for Plum for organizing all the preparations. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm just happy that everyone in town will have a delightful Glimmerberry Ball tonight. Yes, the hall looks fabulous. You've got to see it, Strawberry. Oh, I can't wait. I'll meet you down there when I'm done packing. Okay, see you soon. <gasps> <gasps> oh, no. Not again. Somebody's been nibbling our snacks. Somebody chased away our glow bugs. And somebody's been sleeping in our streamers. <gasps> and they're still here. <laughs> so, trying to wreck our party, huh? Wake up! Wake up, you meddling pranksters! Get out of here! <laughs> Now, we better clean this up, quick. We're running out of time. What's that? I don't know. Sounds like it's coming our way. Oh, let's get out of here. Come on.
snow cone. Okay, they asked for it. <laughs> That'll teach him to mess with plum pudding. Try to get back into our Glimmerberry Ballroom now. <laughs> Not our ball gowns! You come down here this instant! Do you hear me? Huh? Who is it? It's Strawberry Pumpkin. What's going on in there? Ah! Great galloping gooseberries! What happened? Two naughty chipmunks have kept wrecking our decorations. And now they've stolen our ball gowns, just to spite us. Chipmunks? Oh, that's very strange. They're usually timid little guys. There must be some reason they turned into troublemakers. Oh. They did this? Have you ever heard of anything so mean? Shredding our decorations. We found them sleeping in these scraps. They aren't the only ones. Raspberry kind of likes sleeping in them too. <laughs> well, they are pretty cozy. Yes, they are. Oh, that's the answer. What's the answer, Strawberry? The chipmunks aren't the intruders. We are. Us? Uh-huh. They chose this place to have somewhere warm to sleep during the winter. And they probably found it before Plum did. But why do they have to take it out on our Glimmerberry Ball? Hmm. Yesterday, I couldn't understand why Pupcake kept barking at me when I was making the cranberry relish. But when I finally stopped to see his point of view, I realized he thought a cranberry was his red ball, and he thought I wanted to play fetch. So? So, look at this tree from the chipmunk's point of view. What looks like stealing food is actually their way of staying fed during their winter sleep. So what looks like a pile of scraps to us is really a bed to them? That's right, Raspberry. So, all this time, we've been kicking them out of their home? I'm afraid so, Plum. <sighs> now I feel terrible. <sighs> Come on, girls. We better take all our stuff back home. But then, where will we hold our Glimmerberry Ball? I think I may have an idea. What if we just ask the guys if we can stay in Hey, little guys. Can we talk to you for a minute? That's it. We won't hurt you. I'm really sorry we tried to take over your winter home. We'd like to change our Glimmerberry Ball into a hibernation ball. Would that be okay with you? Everyone will bring donations to our dance tonight, and you'll have plenty of food for the long winter. Where are they going now? Forget the rest. 
a better one. I think I enjoyed helping out the chipmunks a lot more than just throwing our usual glimmerberry ball. Me too. It made it much more special. It's like Strawberry's secret cider ingredient. Warm wishes? Yes. The party was special because I kept imagining how much the chipmunks are going to enjoy their nice home and all the snacks for their hibernation. So do you think they enjoyed the party? <laughs> I think that says it all.